Hey guys, so today I filmed this holiday inspired... what? Hey guys, so today I filmed this uh, holiday, New Year's kind of makeup look, dark lip, really pretty eye, and I think it turned out really nice. I'm really happy with it. Um, so it's kind of like a chit chatty makeup look. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. So if you want to know how to achieve this look, you can keep watching. I thought it'd be fun to do a little chit chat um, makeup look. So I haven't done one of those in a really long time. So I'm going to start out with primer. Um, this is the Dermalogic. Dermalogica, Dermalogica um, Hydro Blur Primer, and this is phenomenal, amazing. So I'm just gonna start by using that. It really blurs everything out, and it's actually great to just wear on its own as well if you don't really wanna wear makeup. I'm just gonna pull my sleeves up a little bit. And then I'm gonna be using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting um, foundation and concealer. Now this one is way too dark for me right now. So I bought the um, Lightning shade drops from the body shop and this is actually incredible incredible stuff It changes your foundation to a lighter color and I definitely need that because my skin tone changes so much from summer to winter. So what I do Is I just take some of this put it on my hand that so you can tell it's like such a dark color for me and then you just take some of these drops I think my applicator might be broken but whatever. you just take some of these drops and you just drop it in and it's supposed to also take the yellow out I mean I kind of like a yellow foundation so um, I don't it, it is pink colored so it'll definitely neutralize any of your foundation. Now, you can put as many drops as you need. I really need this to be way lighter because I bought the wrong shade in the first place. So I just do that. I'm gonna take my beauty blender, but usually I'd take like a stick and you just mix it all together. But it like completely changes color, which is really cool. So. I'm just patting this on to get that full coverage look that I want. Probably could have used one squeeze more, but it's not bad. It's pretty accurate. Then I'm taking my two favorite concealers. This is the Maybelline Age Instant Rewind for my under eyes, and then the Revlon Color Stay. Um, these are great drugstore concealers, and I'm just going to put them under my eyes and on any blemishes that I have. And then again, taking my beauty blender. You could definitely throw a powder on top if you wanted. I don't really want to so I'm not going to do that today but if you wanted to really make it set and last all night I would definitely recommend just throwing a powder on top of that. I'm actually going to go right into the eyes now and then finish my face after. I'm going to start by taking this crease color it is the uh, Rimmel London Magnifies All About the Base and I'm just going to be tuning up, taking a fluffy brush and putting this in the crease. Then I'm taking this Maybelline Eye Studio Makeup in Copper Chic, and I'm gonna take the coppery color right there, and I'm gonna put that on my base, just really lightly though. I'm not gonna pack on the color. I'm gonna kind of sweep it on so it gives just a, a nice shimmery, coppery effect instead of like an actual color.
And then I'm going to take the lightest color in this palette, the white, and I'm gonna actually pack that on. It's a very nice color. On top of the copper. I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm gonna blend that all up. I'm then gonna take that brush that I was using at the beginning and I'm gonna use the Rimmel London VIP Pass color and it's just this like shimmery sort of brown. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on the end of the brush and I'm gonna just deepen up the um, outer corners a little bit. I'm then gonna take the Rimmel London um, eyeshadow in Q Jump, which is like a really shimmery white on this tiny little brush and this is gonna be the inner corner highlights. I'm going to take that clean blending brush again and just blend everything out again. Now that uh, outer V color, I'm just going to take a little bit of that and, and put it under my eyes just to kind of complete the look and bring it around town, you feel me? I'm just gonna go with my beauty blender and kind of clean up the under eye area. I'm now going to add some black eyeliner to the tight line and some white eyeliner to the waterline as well as mascara to my eyelashes, obviously. In the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, I love this mascara. Um, a little on the bottom as well. Eyes are actually now done now. <laughs> what? Eyes are done. All right, so let's finish the rest of the face. I'm gonna take the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Natural and I'm going to contour a little bit. I'm gonna add some blush. The blush I'm using is Tarte Flush. It's like this purpley color. It's a really pretty color and it's very, very pigmented. I'm then gonna take my favorite product ever, MAC Soft and Gentle, and I'm gonna do a, just a, a little highlight. I'm actually going to take this highlight as well and do that on my brow bone. And I'm going to bring it down my nose. I'm just going to take a big uh, angled fluffy brush and just blend everything out. For the lips, we're going to do a mixture of two lipsticks that are MAC lipsticks. Um, Rebel and Sin, my two favorite dark lipsticks. We're gonna mix them together to create this dark purpley color. I'm gonna take this universal lip liner. Um, this will just help the product not bleed. And I feel like dark lipsticks really do bleed. So 
just creating a barrier around the lips. I really like the Universal Clear Lip Liners. I think they're really nice. We are now taking Sin on a lip brush. This is just the Delium Tools lip brush. Um, and we are going to carefully apply Sin all over the lips. When you're wearing a dark lipstick, oh my God, it takes so much time to put it on and make sure it's like amazing because messy lipstick is one of my biggest pet peeves. And then you want to take Rebel and do the, basically the exact same thing and just go over it. If you had a really dark purple, like um, Cyber by MAC, I think is a good one. Um, you can do that, but I actually just don't have a really dark purple, so I'm kind of just using these two to create the effect that I want. So, the lipsticks are on, but it's not really, huh, it's not really clean, so I'm just kind of cleaning it up now. Then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and clean up around the edges. Or you can take a brush with some concealer on it. That works as well. Oh my god, I just got some on my face. and I'm gonna highlight my Cupid's bow with Soft and Gentle by MAC. And get right in there so that it looks really clean. And that is the finished makeup look. So it's, let me just look at it. Oh, I turned it great, wow. Um, obviously you do your eyebrows if you wanted to. I just don't really ever do my eyebrows. Um, I'll first brush them out, but that's it. Um, just this really nice holiday makeup look and I think it's great for holiday parties or even New Year's Eve. Um, although if you're going to be kissing someone on New Year's Eve, you might not be wearing dark lipstick, but that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Um, all the makeup products that I use will be in my personal shop linked down below so you can check that out if you want to buy any of them.